Okay, hello, hello, hello. You see if everything is working. We got light and like that. Okay. Anyway, I'm live. And you are so welcome. I'm a little bit unprepared, but please, if you see and hear me and everything is okay, please let me know that you hear and see me. I have some extra lights here. Okay. I think we are setting up. Hello, Elizabeth. Okay, I'm ready. And you're so welcome. I'm a little bit. Hello, Micah. Hello. I must see my phone. I have some dirt on it so I can see the chat. Oh, my God. I was stressing this last minute and feeling a little bit unprepared. But I think we will be okay. Hello. Thank you and so, so welcome to this live. Um, yeah, we do something today and uh, I have prepared in the last minute. minute. Hello, Anna. You are welcome. Who is joining? Please say hello and let me know where you come from. It's always so fun to see where you're coming from. Today it's a little bit about recycling because I love recycling. Who could resist recycling? This is a, a coffee box and I will change a little bit on my computer, my screen, so I can see if it turns black, if we will have a bad connection. But let me know from where do you come from. I see how people have joining, so we are starting. Um, my name is Katja and I'm living in Sweden and I'm one of Finnabär's designers. So I'm using Finnabär and Prima products uh, when I'm uh, creating. I like mixed media and also home decor. That's amazing. So we start. I have prepared Trondheim, or yes, Mexico, Sandra. Wow. Okay, I have Portugal, yes, a box. Uh, and it's uh, like plastic and metallic. I think it had been like, what do you call, instant coffee or something. Suvi, hyvä Suomi. Tervetuloa minulle. Okasia, Poland. <coughs> okay, so something like that. And I'm thinking this can be because I have something in the kitchen. I forgot to uh, uh, get it. Canada, uh, where I have like uh, items. And perhaps you can have uh, like brushes or anything you like. Fake flowers or anything you like. And I will show you how to do this uh, texture, but I will not do it. Utah, uh, right light, but I will show you on the box. It's okay, Claire, you're welcome. Because when I start painting and working on the surface, it needs to be completely dry and it takes really long time. That's why I have prepared it in advance. But I will show you how to create this like a sandy effect. India, hello. And this is what you are looking for, like a, like a ball. I have made like before, like a notebook. Something like this we are going on here. Yeah, you can do that uh, on any surface. Uh, on paper, on glass and everything. You only need to prepare your underneath. Oh, so many people joining. Hello. Um, 
Ireland, Wales. So what I have prepared, and that's why, because I haven't prepared good enough, but we will show you how to do the texture. But we'll paint so it can dry a little bit, and I will show you how to do the texture. What I have done is uh, glue the piece of clay. It's a mold. It's oriental mold. It's from Redesign of Prima, and this is a mold. I can show you them a little bit later. Uh, and uh, that's why I was in hurry because I realized usually when I do like here I doesn't need to paint but I have the mold and I have the red gaps from the from the jar Hungary so welcome so internationally oh so cool and I have heavy gesso and I need that on the resin we will also add like handles and this uh, that when I do with the resin it need a coat of gesso and uh, that's why I was said I haven't prepared good enough because I should have done this before but sometimes you're so busy I don't understand where the times goes so I will add like a, it doesn't need to be perfect but I don't want to let the orange and the red show and while this is drying I can show you how I did the paste do that sounds okay and it doesn't need to be perfect no not at all but the resin we need to have we will add a little bit texture around it also because I don't like when they go so I want to have something here so I paint it and we will I will show you what we do and we need to use our heat tool anyway but when we're doing lies what product are you using? Right now, I am uh, painting with the heavy body, uh, heavy gesso. It's a primer for paint. So it's we prime the surface. But here, when um, where we have the the paste, it doesn't need to be perfect. Not at all. Hello, all Sylvia. Welcome. United States, Southern United States, so cool. We have a so international group. That's lovely. You're so welcome. I'm Katja from Sweden and um, it's dark here. And you see, no perfection. Egypt, ah. Oh that's nice yeah everybody is so welcome i'm so glad yeah claire this is heavy gesso so it's a really thick one and i like it because you don't need to cover it so many uh, layers uh, and if you don't like the thickness it's very easy to add water but I like the Finna Bears Art Basic Heavy Gesso because it gives the thick layer. And here is about texture. So now we are painted. I need to paint even here. I like adding like borders up. I think I will have my brushes or something from the kitchen here and no perfection is needed uh, and I know I have broke my little bit my resin because I made this mold out of resin and I should have done new ones but I was a little bit late for preparing so oh, yeah, yeah. Vancouver South Africa okay that's great so 
it's not perfect but you can see the idea to show you now uh, 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 I have I will pick another gel because I said I want like a little bit texture around it and we do it while it's drying up a little bit and I have like art stones because this is like a messy wall and I like uh, something from the mold and the around here to be go a little bit all around it so we will add bonsoir bon France love texture who doesn't love texture we do I have the heavy body gel and I have used the heavy body gel to glue this uh, mold and this uh, I have helped it out with um, also some um, glue gun to let it stay but basically I have used um, the heavy body gel and uh, it's not completely dry yet because I was a little bit in hurry so I'm adding and not too much but a little bit here and there on the edges I go and I will add like the art stones and the gesso is wet mm, but that's not the problem because we will add like color on this and you can do it if you want to have like a whitish effect later on you can um, uh, not but here I will paint over it so perhaps I can add even on some other place like that we can add like the art stones and I take a little bit of the art stones and put it in my finger and only around my mold because and not so much because we will work a little bit hard but here and you understand it need to be before we paint it need to be completely dry and I leave it like that and I think we need to add like some art stones I have some not so nice gaps and that's perfect to add hello friends and that's perfect to add like the heavy body gel in the gaps and then sprinkle if you have like a texture paste it works fine but right now I really want to add in the gaps the heavy body gel because it gives a little bit effect and then with I sprinkle the art stone and it can get a little bit messy because I'm really generous because I know when this is dry I will lose some and here I have some gesso not dry so I sprinkle in the same time no perfection totally randomly okay we'll leave that for drying and I will show you how I did the paste so I will let that aside a little bit to dry so it doesn't need to heat it all the way and I will clean my table a little bit because I have the art stones a little bit all over I will show you how I did the paste because it need to be completely dry this is a project that I have should have done in two lives one when we do the texture so perhaps I will do that kind of lives so you can join me all the way but I will show you how I created the texture that what I will do now I have something hello 
Clinton and I take a sip of coffee. Like that and I'm back here. Okay, I have like a box. It's only to show you. Uh, and this is a paper box from A to C card from Finaber. And I can create a like, texture. We can do something. But this is only to show you that you can use um, like plastic. But you need to paint it with gesso. And that's why the heavy, heavy gesso is perfect. So you can do this on porcelain, on glass, on metal. But remember to prime it with heavy gesso. That's the basic. Then you can do this. Um, I have a body like that. And here you can use a little bit different items. You can use like modeling paste if you like. You're welcome, Crystal. So, so welcome. Iowa, so nice. You're welcome to watch. I will now show you all how I did create the texture on this and it's a little bit drying right now by itself. So I, you can use like modeling paste, it creates more texture. You can use uh, heavy gesso, the same what I'm having here. Or you can use like a paint. Anything works. The secret is the texture powder, uh, I put that here, it's the texture powder, it's a, like a fine powder. Uh, this is to make like modeling paste more thick. It's okay, I pick the modeling paste. But you can use like acrylic paint or gesso if you have something else. And I use a modeling paste, so add like here. And we do this on the box and um, this is to create like a sand effect. I think that could be enough. And if you will have leftovers, put it in an empty jar and you keep it. And now I have the texture paste. So I will I put really a lot. You could say how many spoons you have, but it depends all about what kind of texture you like and it depends if you have like gesso or acrylic paint so imagine if you put color on this yeah then you will have a texture that is colored it's go it works and it's do you hear it's like a little bit crispy. It's like fine sand. It's yes, it's like a powder. And it's create this heavenly texture. I'm adding a little bit more. And you decide how heavy you want it. And like I said, if you get too heavy, you think you have too much powder, sprinkle a little bit water in it so I'm adding no only by feeling and now it goes more yes like uh, plaster or something UK Scotland welcome hello Ula and you see I mix it and you need to try out power but look now it's like something you almost use what's the name of it I, I forgot when you have creating like buildings it almost like that feeling a little bit more so I take little bit step by step to have like that. I have a spatula and like I said, take anything you like, prime it. And this I was priming it with uh, clear gesso and it was paper on it. Sprinkled. Okay, now I have my texture paste. 
the texture powder and you can use that if you have like something and you need to get it more heavy but here I have add but I still have a lot of in my my jar but this is perfect and I have like a, a spatula and you can have any size you like if you prefer prefer a smaller one or a bigger one you know there are different sizes there are different sizes and you can use a smaller one and a bigger one and I really like this one we see how it goes I pick this big one and I will put it on the other side and on the side of my box and it's the same technique and I put it like that and drawing randomly different and go and not pushing too hard because I want to have like randomly I can put more heavy so you see and that's a just amazing effect so leave some empty spaces and more heavy on some so we do the side and I like this sand effect so we do it like here you see if I pull take one time but you go around and more heavy and leave some spaces okay that's and you can go and it's not dry so if you have too much to change your mind look okay I start over because I was not happy and I do it again it's not the problem it's not dry so I'm going around to create like an exciting surface like that hello Emilia terve mitä kuuluu okay like that I'm happy and you understand before we work on this surface because it's like thick on some places it need to be completely dry that's why I have prepared this for you but you see and I believe should we do the side of the box yes of course we should do hello Antonio I read welcome we do the sides quickly I add some paste on the sides and we leave that box for drying in the same time yes I do great so international group watching all over the world and that's great because we are so everyone in different time zone and if you have any question please pop them and if I don't have uh, it's scary okay Fatima from Egypt uh, okay I was thinking something so if you have any questions please I try to answer them and if I don't answer them if the chat goes you only ask them once more because perhaps I'm too busy looking at something else uh, but I will try to answer all your questions Ireland Norway okay I clean my table so cool so I leave that and if you like now when it's wet you can also add the art stones you remember the mini art stones I could sprinkle them we can do like something like that they will not stay but some of them will stay because so you have so many ideas to do like stone effect on different ways so we leave that no this is not on YouTube unless it's only here in the redesign group 
Yes, of course you can do that, Sarah. Uh, in the stencil works perfect, like a really stone effect. That's it works really fine. And you can even uh, sand it, have sanding paper. Look, I can use sanding paper. And I was thinking before this was drying up, uh, if I want to sand it. That's why I was, was preparing myself to add like sanding paper to hands because you can sand it and it's get really nice effect if you sand it. Paint it first and sand it. But I will not do that today. Okay, it's not dry, but now I will dry it. And if you're listening with your earphones, so you know, my table looks a little bit crazy up and down, doesn't it? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but I think it works. Yeah, the dry mix. Uh, 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 I will show you. I have how long it dries. Oh, it depends where you live and what season is it. If you have like um, um, more heat, if you have like uh, more cold weather, it takes more time. So it depends and uh, depends how thick you ma make it also. So. It's so different. It can take an hour, but also can take like four or five hours. So that's why I was leaving mine for uh, drying by itself overnight. Um, so it depends where you live and how hot your room is and the climate. Uh, if you live nearby the sea or something like that. So here I was mixing the modeling paste and the texture powder. Oh, I'm out of camera. Look here. Modeling paste and the texture powder. And this works if you only have like a paint or something like that. You need to, you want to give it a little bit texture. I was mix it with modeling paste and texture powder, but you can use like heavy gesso or you can put it in your paints. Uh, basically anything but this was already a little bit thick so I was make these two and then to add like extra like the stones like these stones here and uh, they will not be so many left when I will paint that's why I pull really a lot ones uh, because it need to paint, I should need to paint over it. Then I was using the art stones because I want it to look like an old wall or something, like really old something that you find, like I call it, what's your name, like you have do some findings. So mini art stones, and you can add these modeling paste and texture paste and mini art stones if you want you only need to do a try out Tuck, try on a small things but tr remember to prime your project with gesso and i prefer the heavy gesso okay i will now heat it a little bit so we can start painting so please let me know if you have any more questions and I need to be a little bit careful here because it's not completely dry and I was uh, adding the resin when they was dry. I will show you what I will do. So we heat where we have add the mini art stones so we do like that so i looking forward to paint hello carol you're so welcome if you're joining me now we are recycling uh, i think 
like coffee or something a box a little bit metallic and paper and it's you can have it for anything you like some molds but remember that text you need to be really completely dry before you paint over it otherwise you will lose the one but when it's dry you see I have great texture but when it's dry you can really um, paint it how you like And this is a little bit metallic in the box and you know when you use the heat tool it get hot oh my god it's getting hot and the resin is moving also uh, that's why I was not completely prepared but we leave that for drying it will dry when will it will that but when you have like resin and you heat it on them they can change the shape that can be good and bad okay not completely but we will paint the area around the resin the in the last step oh i need to vacuum my my floor later on okay I need to have like stiff brushes you have like uh, these stiff brushes I have different sizes so I pick some and that depends what what do you like you see there are many different sizes but I choose these uh, it doesn't work to have like this you will destroy them uh, these are uh, more stiff and strong uh, and I will use them with the waxes and then you need to wash them with soap or uh, kitchen um, what its name kitchen uh, soap I'm so sorry I don't know all the words okay there are good and bads because I will do something later on because this project will also have like handles on the side like that I'm thinking um, and you see I have tried start a little bit uh, bending them um, and I will show you on the last end how to do that but I will add these when everything is dry but only to show you when I will take some photos tomorrow I will add the handles I have paint them with gesso and I have a little bit paint and that's these are old ones but I will show you how in the last moment how I will bend them but I think that two handles will be great not to use them but only for decoration okay okay I'm talking too much today I'm thinking wow and already 35 minutes we have been I have some pastes here uh, some waxing and depends what colors you like you see I have a bunch of them but I have matte wax in brown and I'm thinking to go for the max uh, 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 wax I have the black one I have the blue patina and the patina green perhaps we will add the white pearl in the end I haven't decided perhaps I will add the graphite I don't know yet but I'm sure I will have that brown rusty brown wax it's a matte wax uh, and I will also have the green patina green so I will add it oh and it's just new I haven't used that one so it's the green 
wax and other patina blue and these waxes are matte and new also wow and the new one now comes in tubes like that and the oldies are in this kind of jar so I will use it directly so like that I'm tapping here and if you are not so sure how much color you will have you can pick like a piece of paper or something I will see we have like a brown paper but that was a good so I can do like that tapping off or do like me use my hands but if you are a little bit sensible that's not so great uh, so it depends so you can do on, on the or if you have like um, something in plastic or something but I'm tapping off because I want to take it a little bit careful in the beginning okay I start here now I'm tapping on color and I doing it randomly no no idea what I'm doing tapping 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 and I will leave that because it's not completely dry yet so I go over it tapping tapping and these are matte and you can also use your fingers but the surfers are no perfection and, and I want to come in the gaps hello Isabella welcome welcome and here we have the mini art stones I'm a little bit more careful here and uh, I will also have some black but these will mix perfectly with each other but the tapping is the best because I want to come to get the colors in the gaps yes I wash these uh, with soap um, soap that you have for cleaning uh, I don't know but that you can use for for dishes works fine but there are also a soap like it's natural uh, that comes from the nature I don't know the name but I think it's a soap that you can use on wooden fur floors and I pick a little bit in my hand add a little bit of water and I go around like that when I'm cleaning them and then with the hot water so put a bit of soap in your hand cap it and go around and put the hot water on and you clean it so it can it can be work fine hope you understand what I mean a close up on the brushes yes they are Fina Bears brushes and they come in different sizes I see I have two number six here so you see they are very stiff and I'm have not looked there I haven't cleaned that brush so well but we will use it in this kind of project I don't mind I don't remember what side what brush this brush we was using so they are really easy but when you use waxing with the brush it's a soap I think the soap for the when you do dishes also works fine but I like the natural soap that you can have for wooden floors hope you understand what I mean okay we do a little bit careful here okay a little bit here we have the art stones and you see I'm tapping and the brown goes more here around doesn't look so much yet we need to have like more color 
it's fairy liquid yeah like dry brushing I will paint it like that uh, now when I have the mini art stones so be careful if you don't mind because I have some here in my in my wax you can use them for dry brushing yes for sure now it's time for a little bit green it will not be so very greenish or should we go with the black first mm -mm. we go a little bit with the black okay I will not use so much black it's only on some places but we can do yeah I was not really dry brushing but you can use the waxes for dry brushing I was really tapping the color on and I think I will use the same brush like that and I want to have the black not everywhere not so much but here like in the edges like something like that so I'm doing this on some places and how much you have on each color if you want to have it more black if you use more black and if you have want to have more brown you have it oh and here we have little bit of the teal okay that's okay so you see I'm going I'm looking for the magic that it will look like an old wall yeah and you know walls they're living their own lives okay a little bit too much black there okay we will fix it and this is not completely dry yet that's why I think next time when I'm doing I need to do a line in two steps okay two colors only and all already looks like something really oldish yeah I'm already in love oh, my god now we go for the green here I have the chakral black so it's not the graphite this is a metallic paste and these are the matte finish it's a matte wax so it's chakral black and it's like grayish in the color and these are like uh, metallic and I have these two perhaps if I want to highlight I want this like a matte finish perhaps we want a little bit here but I will not have like metallic paint like gold or silver I don't want this on this project but they have the white pearl and graphite and they are like metallics and these are matte so now time for a little bit green not too much only here and there and if you get a little bit too much of the color I have like a baby wipe I pull it off and look you can have like more soft finish and it's still like white so careful because I don't want it to be like greenish I want it to be and now I'm going over on the white spots so it's no metallic wax because I want it to be like an old granary wall yeah I love that and I can go over with the colors until I'm happy oh and I will need to glue that because I did that in the last minute so I go over and doing adding the colors so much and now I don't need to tap so much 
and I go over and here too much green but we will add light blue but I'm putting a, taking a baby wipe don't wait too long because it will stay now I need to take a look okay like that yeah I must take a look how it goes now I will pick a little bit blue this is recycling my pottery this one it's a metallic box with instant coffee or chocolate or something years ago so like that and we need to dry that okay I think we have a little bit here but I'm not worried because we always have a solution for everything now I'm adding a little bit blue and I now I go really light-handed because I don't want to have too much blue and I go more for the places where are white like that so use the color scheme that you like depends if you want it to be more blue blue or green or brown and um, I need to look at this yes and we need to have like a different colors here yeah you can use anything you like perhaps you have something a flower pot or something anything you like you can give like a new life and I want it to look like an old wall and I see this is doesn't show too well that's why I have like well, yeah, this is a tin can something like that it's very easy this doesn't show too much so that's why I was having the uh, white pearl I will also because I'm thinking we are almost like finished we try to add like white pearl yeah use whatever you have I will have the white because I need to I want to highlight that a little bit and we'll see if, if it's, I get the effect that I like I don't believe so then we do different but I put the white pearl and you see I have a messy table I'm a messy crafter what about you are you messy but when I go in the flow I think that made it and we have like a dark shadow around it yeah we will look here we have I think it's exactly the same ounces in the tube and it, it says 0 0.68 ounces and it says the same so it's the same in the both one but they have changed to the tubes we look yeah the white pearl made it so I will do that on the rope here also uh, if you put it outside you need to have something to seal it I have made something like that that I have in the kitchen I haven't sealed it and it has stayed perfectly but if you put outside I believe you should seal it on some way and I think I should use a uh, soft matte gel uh, or depends because I don't believe you should have this like outside in the rain or something uh, I have some projects that I have been having outside uh, but not under the sky it had like a small roof and they have stayed perfect without no sealer if I should have a sealer 
I have I should use a soft matte gel or or I should use can you hear it hairspray but I'm not I don't seal my project too much and some of my projects I have outside and they stay well uh, only thing that um, I have here birds a little bit interesting I think that's great but I'm not really happy about it because it's a little bit too colorful so I wanted to have more brown yeah it's a little bit too greenish for me so I so you can do oh you're too messy oh that's good to hear that I'm not the only one I want to have more brown so I'm going over it a little bit more because when I'm looking at it I'm not really happy with the green spots too much so I'm careful I'm only adding a little bit more of the brown and I have one more color I should add we see if I have it easy handed I forgot one color we see where I have my waxes they are far away because I want one more color I remember so we see if I have it here oh my god how could I forget that color or I have lost it I'm so sorry I have my waxes like this no special order and perhaps I have it on some other place my god here we need to have rusty red yes that was I was looking for rusty red yes I believe I'm happy then yes little bit rusty red to my project it was looking too grayish we add some rusty effect so yes now now I'm getting happy that was I was missing how could I miss that but I said to you I was a little bit unprepared yes now so but here you decide when you mix do a test on smaller areas and try what color scheme you are going for and I was looking for the more rusty effect yes that what I was looking for the more brownish but that depends on your choice that's you like and where you will have it but me I like the rusty one and the patina also like gray because I have like gray in my kitchen but I was looking for more of the rusty one here yes look and so easy and quick to change the color so don't have too much color on the brush it will look too mess messy but now I'm really more happy about my my project yes a little bit more rusty around my my mold here but I think now it get the shape or the look what I was looking for and a little bit here also yes so 
that depends of what you like. Okay, that's great. That's great. And yeah, I will do something, and this can be a little bit scary. Scary, scary, but uh, 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 I have one more wax. <clears throat> and uh, da, da, da. what should I do? No, we do like this. When you have wax, it gets like a little bit resist. So this can be a little bit tricky. The rusty make the magic, yes. I have a little bit of, from the heavy gesso. And I will clean my brushes and clean my table after this live. And uh, now I will have like a soft brush. Yeah, this, the rusty brown made it. I will have like a little bit of the gesso because I want to do like some thank you I want to do like some dry brushing and now we have the waxes so it's uh, you need to try out but I'm really light-handed but I go over here and there not too much with the gesso it almost not will show but i don't want to show any brush strokes but to make something you see i'm going and i'm light light handed like randomly some places a little bit more and some little bit less and yes we have wax and it's uh, can be tricky if they have put too many layers but i want to have but totally randomly to tone down some areas and also to make some areas that are darker to give even more textured look so I go over and brushing and totally randomly not all over it but you can you need to try out uh, so little color if you get like brush strokes you will lose it so yeah that's and here it's more white and when i have more white i'm doing here also so because this is like the front where that will show so i'm thinking three places like more whitish okay I love the wall effect and I will show you what I will do but they need to be glue by itself I have and I won't show you I will add like handles here uh, I will uh, bend them a little bit because it's, they are straight and when you put them straight it look a little bit strange uh, if you see I have bent this a little bit I will show you how to do it and it doesn't need too much but I will add like these handles should it be gula no it should be up like that on each side and I will decide them to have like in the same color like that here but you see the difference this is bended a little bit yeah these are molds and uh, from redesign and they come straight and if I have made them I had should bend them 
why they are not completely dry but this was dry once and I will show you because I didn't have the time to make new ones I will show you how to bend them to shape them a little bit and I will glue them when I stop this live but I will take photos for you but I will show you how I bend it a little bit because you see it makes the difference when I will glue them but these need to glue by itself overnight to stay there but you get the idea how my my jar look like it's like that okay so I will show you I will have we set these at the side because I said when I heat resin you can shape them but you need to be careful uh, this is not a toilet roll it's something really strong but I, it's perfect for shaping but if you are too heavy handed you will broke them and more thick they are more difficult is it it is not too thick it's more easy but when you heat your mold of resin you can shape them a bit so I'm doing that but it gets really hot but you can start to shape them and that's why I have like hair so we start to shape take care of your fingers I'm doing like that that here it's not so thick so it goes really fast but take care of your fingers and now it's hot I try to shape it hold it like that and you see it's I have shaped it but will not stay completely like that but you see it goes because I want to have the round effect I'm using resin to, to do made this I use amazing resin that goes really quick it takes about 20 minutes and I have these in my stash because I didn't have the time and look perfectly I, I think I bend it even too much but you see the difference there goes and it was not taking too much time so you see I need to do the same on this one to heat it but while it's uh, dry so I will first paint these when I'm happy about the shape and sometimes when you heat it it bends back so you need to repeat this I need to repeat this a little bit I heat it because it want to it want to go to a natural shape so I go over it again and put it here and hold it because you can repeat it a little bit and don't use plastic or don't use metallic because it will hot so I have something Karen yeah you want to try these look for who is uh, uh, where do you live Karen depends where you live perhaps you have like somebody a retail uh, near your country who sell redesign of Prima products the molds are from redesign but these all these are Prima products yes you need matte waxes of course you need and don't remember don't forget the uh, rusty red it was making the magic but remember to shape your and now I think that goes and a little bit too much shaped but you can create like that and we need Iowa okay you will find on scrapbook.com uh, uh, Karen I believe they have redesigned of Prima products and the waxes you find there something like that so I have already gesso them I will 
uh, add some color and perhaps they will be like uh, more brownish with the rusty red and I will uh, glue them overnight and I will glue them with a heavy body gel I will not do that now because it's so difficult when I glue them overnight I will add like something like that only to show you how I will do or should I do one okay I will do one we do one quickly we do it brown and we glue one side and you will see so you can imagine how the project will go one hour and seven minutes so some more minutes so yeah and I believe I am doing them more brownish and when it's dry I can add like more color but I will add like the ground color like that yes so like that and then when it's dry like I said I will leave it over in the night see how quickly it got that gorgeous color mm -mm -mm. yeah and perhaps I will leave like that we we'll see when it's dry perhaps only a little bit of white wax so we need to find the perfect spot like that and uh, 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 I like to add with a spatula or something the heavy body gel you can use the glue gun also but you know it will not stay so if you have patience you are using the heavy bed body gel but you leave it for drying by itself and I get the questions how long it take it for dry and I said depends where you live and what kind of weather you have here in Sweden um, on summer times if you have a nice day it take like put it in the sun and it's dried up in an hour but this time of year it or it's a rainy day on the autumn it need like an hour and now because it's so much texture underneath I need to leave this over the night and I put some clips to let it stay like that so I press it and it need to be stay by itself so it will be but you get the idea of my jar and I want you need to press it a little bit and be sure to add more because it's you have like a waxy surface and also a grungy surface with texture so it's a little bit difficult that's why it need to be dry up so you need to have a little bit patience and if you have like uh, the gel a little bit outside I don't worry too much I take a clean brush and pull it off but I will have the clip and leave it for drying like that yes and um, I'm happy I'm happy tomorrow I think this is will be dry uh, we test it and I can test and see it have been here for almost one hour and it's not dry yet no it's not dry so that's why when you do the texture leave it for dry by itself and you can work on it the surface so my wall effect on this recycling uh, tin I need to glue here also and tomorrow I will take good photos and share it here in the group with you and you can see the final re result when I have the handle on the other side and perhaps I will keep some brushes here or some kitchen items or flowers anything I like we see what I put here I have some um, something in the kitchen like herbs or something could have I don't know something okay 
thank you for watching and spending some time with me. I'm so grateful and thankful for you here. And please, if you have uh, any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will clean up my dirty place. And um, I will see you soon again. And please, if you have a product or a, or a project you want me to do, let me know. Let me know. So, let me know. I think this is so fun to be here with you all over the world. But anyway, I say thank you for tonight and um, have a great evening or day or morning where you are. Thank you for joining my live. Thank you so much and try out and tag me if you and share it in the group if you're getting inspired of my project that will be so fun to see yes so thank you and bye bye and take care of you and see you soon again Oh, we see how I where I will uh, da, da, where I am to close the. Thank you. How I will end this slide there. Bye bye. Take care.